Good morning from day number three in Kyrgyzstan. Yeah, good morning and we're gonna shoot the sunrise. So the sunrise unfortunately hasn't really popped as well as it did yesterday, uh, but always worth coming up to take a look. Right now we're in a place called Makambaya, which is close to Bakambaya village. I'm totally saying those wrong. Where are we? We are now in the Manjuli Atta and the, it, this place is close to Bakambaya village. Village, and we're yeah. staying at the Beltam yurt camp, which is also close to the Bakambaya village. Yeah, yeah. Cool, so if you do find yourself in this area, find a local guide because yep. <laughs> it's hard to pronounce or know where these places are, but yep. it's a beautiful spot. So the light has definitely popped now, never say never, and we're getting some really cool uh, cloud formations here. Our first stop on the cultural side of things is the golden thimble where we're gonna see how the classic sort of like carpets are made. Yeah, yeah they made the classic sort of the carpets in here and they will show their how to do it. It was founded in 1996. <laughs> The Kyrgyz carpets are made from wool and traditionally done completely by hand. At the Golden Thimble we were given a demonstration of the process and taught more about the cultural heritage of the handicrafts. So after that amazing presentation on how these carpets and rugs are made, all handmade by the way, we're looking at some of their finished products here. And this kind of stuff ships all over the place. I just found out that a few of the women were in Santa Fe, New Mexico for a creative uh, crafts fair just a few weeks ago. And they're shipping to Sweden uh, and I think Switzerland. I may have misunderstood that, but definitely Sweden and the United States, which is really quite cool. And this is really high quality stuff. So. If you're ever looking for like, I don't know, an international distributing opportunity, uh, come to Kyrgyzstan. <laughs> That's it for our cultural experience here in Bakambaya village with the uh, Kyrgyzstan crafts and the carpet making. Really, really cool. Thank you so much, Rahmat. Yeah. Rahmat. Yeah, and now after that we will go to the eagle hunting and I will show the great that how we hunt there with eagle to the rabbits. We made it to the Hippodrome, which is a big open area where we're going to see the traditional eagle hunting. And uh, Kenny and I have been joined by Anna. Hi! <laughs> and she is here doing some posts about Kyrgyzstan for her blog, which is called Global Gallivanting. So, let's check out these eagles. Yeah, eagles are coming. That was very, very cool to photograph and to see uh, that it is an apex predator in its natural environment doing what it does best. So from here we are off to uh, shoot sunset. We're gonna do a panorama hike, which takes about an hour, I think. And given the looks of the weather right now, I think it's gonna be pretty good. <laughs> on the horse and he's already running away from the others. <laughs> I thought this was gonna be a sunset trek. Turns out it's a sunset horse ride. This is the second time I've ridden a horse in two days. It's all this, oh, the second time in probably like six years. The panorama hike outside of Bokumbaiva starts from the local community run yurt camp and goes up a ridgeline for about one hour by horse or two hours walking. The views of the Izik Kol Lake and the surrounding mountains are stunning and I highly recommend checking it out for a sunrise or a sunset shoot. So 
that's it for our sunrise sunrise <laughs> so that's it for our sunset session Ugh. that's it for our sunset session oh, i can't say that that's it for the sunset photography on the panorama lookout what'd you think awesome very cool yeah. hey that drone footage is surreal of the horses coming down it's just absolutely perfect so the end to another really good day here in kyrgyzstan tomorrow uh stay with us because we've got some waterfalls oh, and running away <laughs> and then the kokboro game which is a horse game played with a dead goat so that starts right now day four Good morning from our fourth day in Kyrgyzstan. We did not shoot sunrise this morning because sunset last night was so good. Uh, but right now we are... Where are we? Yeah, welcome Greg. We are now in a Skaska Canyon, which is translated to English to fairy tale. It's outside of the Bakambaya village. Okay, so the fairy tale canyon outside of Bakambaya village. Yeah. And Bakambaya village is where we've been spending the last couple days. But today we're actually en route to Karakol. So we're gonna stop here, then a waterfall, and then the Kokboro games. Yep. The Saska Canyon is known for its bizarre and rocky landscape. The area has been shaped over time by wind and rain into some really incredible structures. There are amazing colors and a ton of unusual shapes which are emphasized by the light and contrast. So after an amazing drone flight, it is time to leave the fairy tale canyon and head off to see a waterfall. But that was really cool. I love these colorful rocks and exploring a different place. So uh, yeah, got some nice images, great drone footage. Time to keep going. Hi. <laughs> waterfall and I was able to get like one good image of it but there's a much bigger one a lot higher up from here and I think we'll be able to get there with the drone. And fast forward to the Kokboro game, which is one of the national games of Kyrgyzstan. And tell me what it's all about. It's all about the uh, people will race on the horse and they, they will play with a dead goat. After the playing their game, when we finished, we will cut it and they eat this goat. Eat the goat. So it's uh, not for the faint hearted. Uh, it's like polo with horses, but the, uh, the ball is actually a dead goat. And the idea is to get it into the opponent's um, goal. And then after the game, the winners get to keep the goat and we're gonna cut it up and eat it for lunch. Yeah. Kokboru is an extremely popular sport across the country of Kyrgyzstan as well as all of Central Asia. It is a rough game with opposing teams facing off in a polo style match where the goat carcass is wrestled amongst the competitors in an attempt to score points by throwing the carcass into the opposition's goal. It's incredible to watch and was a big highlight especially at the World Nomad Games held here last year. Kokburu game is coming to an end and I got some really really good footage. It looks amazing from the drone. So Yeah, and game was great and everybody was sort of like played very well. Played well and yeah. 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 So now it's time to eat, I think. Yep. Hey? Yeah, sure. And I guess we're eating that goat.
So the Cock Brewer guys have brought us to a really nice spot for lunch right by the lake. I think it's going to be really good and it seems like a fitting place to end vlog number one here in Kyrgyzstan. So I want to give a special thanks to Kenny Beck uh, for being a part of this video and for all your information. So thank you very much. Yeah, you are welcome. And what are we doing next? What's up? Yeah, next spot is a uh, city which is called the Karakol and we are going to explore this area. That's vlog number two, coming up next. Yeah. I almost forgot, I hope you liked the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.